Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this interesting GE Wattmiser bulb. Now, what's interesting about it is that it's clear. Usually these 135 watt Wattmiser bulbs are frosted, but this one is clear, as you can see. So, here we can see on the packaging they tell you that it replaces a 150 watt incandescent bulb that is clear. Now, I suppose there's some fixtures that need a clear bulb, so that's probably why this was made, of course. So you have some more information on the bulb itself, made in Canada, and all the other sides of the packaging are the same. So let's take a look at the bulb. You can see it has a vertical filament like the 150 watt bulbs of the time. Of course if you look at a 150 watt bulb from GE today, it actually has a horizontal filament. And the quality isn't as good since it's made in China. But anyway, you can see the construction of the bulb here. I really wish they had a support in the middle like they did in their older bulbs, but whatever. It's just it's more fragile this way. You have to be quite careful with it or else the filament will break. So here we have a look at the etch. You can see its code at the top. G 135 watt, 120 volt, Canada. Of course a watt miser. Very nice etch. Looks like the older GE logo there as well. Here we have the base of the bulb. A very clean job soldering here in the bottom. So anyway, we will put it in our socket here. And let's see, let's set that there. Let's turn off these lights so we can get a better look at it. And here we go. So I tried to clean it off, it was quite dusty, it was very dusty, and I cleaned it off to the best of my ability of the stuff that I have here, but you can see the etch again, filament, I'll hold it above here so you can get a look at it. It's very nice and bright, of course has some very dark shadows because it's clear, but it definitely equals a 150 watt bulb, definitely. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of my 135 watt clear wattmiser bulb. Also please comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.